Well, hello, welcome back. How are you? I still don't have a boom arm. I know, I might get one. I probably won't. I actually like doing this. It makes me feel like a radio DJ. Hello, ladies. Welcome back to Late Night with Chris. I'm your host, Chris. And coming up next, we've got some Barry White. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that's Elvis. Okay, maybe I wouldn't be a great DJ. Anyways, what are we talking about today, Chris? Great question, Chris. We are talking about losing in BJJ. Let's get into it. Now, if you clicked on this video, I'm guessing that you just lost yourself a BJJ competition. You either just missed out on gold or eliminated early on, and you probably feel a little bit shit right now. And I get it, it sucks. You feel like you could have done better. Why did you leave your arm extended? Why didn't you pass the guard earlier? And what was the ref thinking, giving him three points instead of an advantage? What a shit ref. By the way, the ref is probably correct. You are just angry right now. Don't worry about it. I'm also guessing that someone came up to you afterwards and went, Yeah, but mate, stepping on the mats? That's a win in itself. Come on, I'm dead inside right now. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Like, look at this guy. This is me. <laughs> and you're probably wondering how I got here. No, 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 don't play that music, actually. Don't, because we'll probably get copyright striked. Just play, Chris, future me, when you're editing this, just play something cool. Don't be an idiot and start playing, like, the Benny Hill theme tune or something just as ridiculous. I know I'm gonna, though. A few months back, it was the IBJJF London Open, and since my IBJJF card was still valid, and I'm trying to hit 12 competitions this year, I thought, why not? Also, before we continue, let me just show you my IBJJF card, because it is laughable. I look terrible. <sighs> okay. <laughs> why did I think that was a good idea for a photo? Look at it. What were you thinking, Chris? I look like a serial killer. So stupid. Now, I didn't feel 100% at the time, but I still felt confident in my abilities and stepping onto the mats, I thought, you know what? <laughs> I got this. I did not got this. I lost this and I was annoyed. I went through all the same questions and emotions in my head. Could have done this better. I could have done that better. I should have been more active. I should have been more aggressive. Why didn't I just get up and get past these guard? And whilst all this is going on in my head and I'm cycling through these emotions, my friend comes over to me and says, yeah, but mate, well done for stepping on the mats. And that's a win in itself. Not many people do that. You know what, for once, I actually tried to perceive this saying and thought, how many people do actually step onto the mats? Well, come with me, kids, because we're going to do mats. Mats with Chris, mats with Chris. Even though I was drunk, this is probably okay, mats. Just as a caveat, maths is not my strong point, and I was drunk when I was doing this, so the numbers might not add up, but just, just come on the journey anyways, and let's see how it goes. Also, come on the journey of liking this video and subscribing because there's always new content every Tuesday and you get to see this face. So, roughly, there are 8 billion people in the world. Checking the numbers on Google, 3 million people train BJJ. Now let's just assume 50% of the people that train BJJ will compete. Let's just assume. So that's 1.5 million. 1.5 million people stepping onto the mats. Let's assume there is 25 golds to win per event and roughly, very roughly, there is five people per ba uh, bracket category. Again, these are these are estimates. Don't take this as gospel. Well, you can, but it'd be a terrible gospel. And yea, it is written in the book of Chris that only five people will appear when you compete at a BGJ event. I'd actually probably read that book. So if there's five people per category, that gives us 20% chance of winning. So with that 20% of the 1.5 million, that means 300,000 people have the potential to win a gold at a competition. Now 300,000 people, that sounds like a lot, but if we put that against the entire population of the world, the eight billion of us, do you know what the percentage is? Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask you to go away and write it down and start doing maths. I did it for you. It is 0.00375%. 0.00375% of the entire population of the world will win a gold medal in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That is insane. And not only that, the 1.5 million people who are going to step onto the mats, and this is the important part, that's 0.01875%. What? Just take a moment to let that settle in. You've just lost 
but you are amongst the 0.01875% of the people in the entire world who've just stepped onto the mats to do a BJJ competition. That's nuts! And aside from my drunk maths, this has made you a better person. You have tested yourself outside your comfort zone. You've fought the adrenaline and the nerves. You put your jiu-jitsu on the line in front of complete strangers as well. So, so what that you lost and you didn't win the gold or I didn't win the gold? Think about the long-term gains. Did you learn something from it? And this is quite possibly my favorite thing about competing because I get to see these huge gaps in my game because they become glaringly obvious. And then I go, why was I doing that? Why? Why did I just sit there like a potato? Then I can go back to the gym, work on it, and work on improving myself, becoming a better jiu-jitsu practitioner. And yes, don't get me wrong, winning gold is sweet, especially if they give you some champagne, or you've got some yourself, and you just be like, yeah! I might do that in my next competition, actually. I won't, I'll look like a complete dick. If winning a gold medal is one of your goals, then make it achievable, make it reasonable. Don't go, I'm gonna win every single competition that I enter and I can't have anyone score any points against me. That's probably a little bit unrealistic. My goal for this year was to win one gold. I think I have five, yeah. Which was great, because I just went, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do one. And then there's kind of like that pressure wasn't there initially. And I was like, sweet, I've just won like five now. What a legend. Go me! Super happy with that. So the next time that you lose, or I lose, or someone loses, and you can see that person approach them and going, but mate, you stepped on the mats. And that in itself is a win. Not many people do that. You'll now be able to think and go, you know what? He's right. I have one today. Nice. Anyways, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of this. And if you did, don't forget to leave it a like. If you have any questions or comments, uh, don't forget to leave them down below. And as always, if you like this face and you want to see more of it, then consider subscribing. Oh yeah, ring the bell. Stay notified as well. Do that thing. No one ever does that. Don't even know why I say it. Not even I do that. You don't have to do that. Just subscribe. That'd be lovely. Either way, you've all been wonderful. Have yourself an awesome day. And I will catch you all next time. Cheers.